Hello and welcome back to another review here on Vienna Gamer and the first thing that I want to mention is this product is not sponsored by any kind of company but it has been made possible for me to buy it uh, by two of my best friends uh, Adriana and Michael Michael I don't know if I should use the English or the German pronunciation the point is they gave me a coupon for Amazon on my birthday and that's how I was able to finally buy something that I wanted to have for several years, for two years, yeah. It's this thing, the Sony AKA-LU1. And if you hear my cat in the background, just ignore her. She always starts meowing when I start a video. Right? Yes. So this thing is for, is an accessory to murder, no, it's an accessory for the Sony action cam that I've been using for two years to pretty much film most of my let's plays and some of the other videos I have done. Uh, I really like this camera, but there are a few disadvantages that it does have. It doesn't have a viewfinder. That's the problem. You, you can't really see what's in frame and what isn't in frame because there's no screen. I mean, there's a screen that shows basic information like battery status and how long you've been recording and all of that. But there is no screen to show you what's in the frame. And this thing takes care of it. Now, this is it. It's a small little black box. Pretty much a camcorder without the camcorder. And my cat wants to go on the table. Come here. Celine, come here. Come here. Yes. <laughs> hey, you want to be in the video too, huh? You are blocking the camera. Yes. Lie your fat ass down. Yes, good kitty. Good kitty. So this is it. Camcorder box like device pretty standard you open it up like this but first you have to open up both flaps on the action cam and I can't do it because mine's a little broken so you have to open up both of these now there's hair everywhere then you have to get this in the correct position inside and then push the camera down and close it. So now if I turn it on I have a screen here just like you know your standard I'm gonna record this actually <laughs> This is my cat, by the way. Now I can show her to you directly, since I have a camera in my hand now. <laughs> I hope I can synchronize both of these video files. But yeah, that's the thing. Um, I now have a screen where I can actually say what's in the frame and what isn't in the frame, which is very handy. And I generally like it, but it does have a few downsides. One. All the connections for the camera are on the bottom. The device here connects with this one big port in the middle. I don't know if that's visible. But that's it. So you have an external uh, input for a microphone here. Once you put this in here, it's completely blocked. The same goes for the micro HDMI out and for power, which is the biggest problem I have. Because when I use this camera to record Let's Play videos, I always have it uh, connected to a power line just to be on the safe side so I don't lose the video. Or if it doesn't, so if the Let's Play is a little longer, it doesn't cut out because the camera suddenly lost power. I can't do this in this thing. Which of course I knew before I bought it, so but it's still a little stupid because there is enough space in here. Don't know if I can actually show you that. See, this is the connector, and here is plenty of space that's just plastic. They could have easily 
put in a connector that plugs into the power on the camera and goes out to the back so you can plug in power from the back or below doesn't matter they could have done something they didn't so same problem it's not really a problem but what is a little strange especially for the price is you start recording on the camera by pressing this button here the red dot on the back and same goes for here you press here and it records but it works no problem so that's not the problem <laughs> but if you press it it just pushes out this little stick here to press the button in the camera or on the camera so I don't know if I can show this correctly here so you press this button the little tab pulls out and yeah it pushes the button so it's pretty much just an extension um, same goes for the hold button and that's it. You do have, when you open up the screen, a little forward, uh, backward and play button here, which are nice, I guess, but I don't care. I don't re-watch something after I've shot it. The only reason I want this is so I can see what I'm filming, which is the main point. But considering the price of this device, they could have done a lot more. They could have, you know, make the made the button not just a stick that pushes the button of the camera. They could have had power uh, somehow redirected on the case. There are a few things. They could have even made an a, a throughput for the external microphones. You you have like I don't know where maybe on the back if they made it bigger or on the bottom. I have a power out and um, a microphone out so this thing actually supports external microphones which is not that common among action cams but in this thing you can't use it just because they didn't do it and this thing costs 70 euro on Amazon which is the reason I've never bought it before but because of the coupon now the price actually came down to where I was you know, happy. Yeah, I was happy with the price. It was okay. That's the reason I bought it. Otherwise, I would have never bought it. Which is a shame because it really... It doesn't change the video quality or anything. But it really makes it handier to use this thing handheld and actually know what... You know for sure what you are filming. You don't just go around waving this thing at someone and hope everything's in the frame. That's very nice, but they've missed, Sony missed such a big opportunity with this device. They could have used, they could have done so much more. And it's basically plastic with a screen that is connected to one, through one port to the camera. And the rest are just extensions of the old buttons. That's it. So a bit of plastic screen and a few metal screws. 70 bucks the price is not worth it if you can get it cheaper if you are like me and get a coupon or something definitely awesome love it I will definitely use this device more now simply because I can actually look what I'm filming and the screen itself by the way is is reasonably good quality I can know I don't know how well you can see this but also here, especially since it's connected through this main big port on the camera that I have never seen used ever before on anything else. They could have had a menu, an on-screen menu here. So, for example, if you press record, the only way you see you are recording is by a little light back here, which is the light from the camera channeled through a plastic tube to light up this nothing more it's not a separate led that is controlled by the port it's just the light that is on the camera itself being channeled to this little thing by a clear plastic tube but there is no on screen thing on the screen nothing changes you don't know am i recording or not you actually have to turn the camera around or listen for the beep depending on where you are you might not even hear the beep so a lot of missed opportunities, a lot 
of missed opportunities. <laughs> screen on screen. And I just bumped the camera. I'm sorry. Here's my cat again. I'm gonna put this picture in picture in the review. <laughs> yes. A review with my cat. Do you like this device? Let's see her smell the camera. Yes, I think she does. <laughs> so yeah, it's a... And you sometimes really have to press the record button very hard in order to activate the actual button on the camera. So yeah, awesome device, but not for this price. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad I bought it. I'm glad I waited for an opportunity to get it cheaper for myself. It wasn't cheaper on sale or anything. But I got it with less money spent from my account, which is nice. And this is compatible with many different action cams. Is that readable? I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. Thanks again to Adriana and Michael for kind of sponsoring this. Uh, great present for my birthday. Definitely. I love it. <laughs> Um, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, if you have to, give it a thumbs down. And tell me in the comments below why you liked or didn't like the video. Or if you think this was a good device. Or if it isn't, or why not, and why just start talking about it. Um, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter. My name is Oliver here at Vienna Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.